joined as always by my good friend and co-host Paul. Hi, how are you, Jeff? Yeah, I'm good. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm very good. Thank you. Good. Are you well? Good. Yeah, not too bad. Good. Well, quite, Excellent. Quite, ex quite excited for this uh, episode of the podcast. So we were mm. chatting about um, what what can we do over the what next couple we of weeks and months um, while we wait for the new series to start. And we thought, why don't we do top ten moments from uh, the Doctors? So we decided we'd start with the 13th Doctor, as we're big fans, and we know our listeners are big fans as well. Um, so we're going to do five each, and uh, we've got some uh, top moments from some of our listeners as well, mm. both audio and uh, via Twitter and Facebook. Uh, so we're going to go through those throughout this episode. Um, so these are mo just like for me, I've picked moments. kind of yes, yeah, specific little moments that I like, um, and as I started thinking about this over the last day or so, uh, I was like, oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. Oh, and that too. And then people were suggesting stuff on Twitter that was the one I was kind of predominantly looking at and you were looking at Facebook. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good moment too, that as well. So mm -hmm. actually, this has ended up being quite difficult. So really um, difficult, actually. <laughs> you, you might, uh, if we did, <laughs> I might do this again mm. and it might, uh, might have different moments in it. Might be top 100 so, moments and yeah, go on for hours or something. Yeah. But we want to keep this short as well. So just <laughs> yeah. a quick in and out, just drop them in and away we go yeah. like that. We, we will vanish like the Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe not as flamboyantly. So um, I'll kick this off. Uh, Go on so then, Jeff. You kick this it is, off, mate. This is in uh, no uh, particular mm. order. So um, one of my favourite moments uh, is when the 13th Doctor is reunited with the TARDIS in Ghost Monument. Um, oh, that was going to be one of mine, you bugger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known this would be one of yours, shouldn't I? By the way, yeah, we don't actually catch up between times to sort these out amongst <laughs> ourselves, as you can probably tell. We should do that, actually. We, sh we should so do, now, yeah. We've got but I like, I like to ones. be surprised. Yeah, so, too, um, yeah. from the woman who <laughs> fell to earth, I was already, uh, you know, hooked uh, on Jodie's Doctor. And then I thought the ghost monument was... a. Uh, thrilling exciting kind of epic uh you know uh, space uh, alien planet adventure and then when the tardis reappeared at the end i thought it was beautifully shot uh, performed mm. written uh, the whole thing the the reveal of the tardis uh, interior um and for me it's my favorite moment in all of doctor who e even now it'll still uh, you know move me uh, hugely and um you know when i first watched it i was sitting there just blubbering away because <laughs> it was just <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much like that. We were just we, superbly we were emotionally done. Emotionally stirred. Yes, I was. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's one of my moments. That's a good one. I like that one. So okay, let me cross that one off my list then. <laughs> um, okay, so one of my moments is actually I'm going to cheat because I'm going to say the whole of the woman who fell to earth. Okay. Right. I started watching this last night and I thought to myself, right, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pop through a few episodes where I know Jodie is brilliant and she's brilliant in all of them but I just wanted to pick out a few that I remembered sort of halfway and just remind myself so I thought let's let's just get that start of the, the woman who fell to earth because one of them was definitely going to be and is actually that moment when she lands through the train roof right when it's all kicking off at the start of that episode right so yeah. we've had that whole five minutes or so from introducing to the fam and then and then she just kind of gets up and it's like we get the music yeah, yeah. coming in which still gets me right in the feels i love that what a great introduction for for a brand new doctor just straight out of the air straight through a roof stands up and then just yeah. gets straight into the action i love it but then what happened is I started watching the rest of the episode and I thought, oh, there's that bit as well. And there's that bit. Because there's a moment where she's um, where she's making a Sonic, which is brilliant. Oh, so, and yeah. then there's a moment where she's on the crane, which is brilliant. Yeah. Pop on over. Just pop on over. And then yeah. she jumps. And then she has a defining moment with Tim Shaw. And it's, um, you know, I'm glad you asked me that again. I'm the Doctor. And that's it. She's yeah. just sealed throughout. But yeah. do you know what? It's... I, I cannot pick a single moment because there are just so many. That's the thing. So I'm going to... Yeah. I mean, even when they're in the police car and she goes, you sure have the sirens, sirens on. Yeah. You know, yeah. No! God, it's just brilliant. It's and just the, the joyous. Bit, a bit later where she, uh, my brain is fizzing. 
you know, as well when she's uh, and, she, and when know. she makes a Sonic as well. Yeah. I mean, phew, there's a it's Doctor brilliant. Defining the go- moment. The goggles, if ever there the was one. Steel. Yeah, all the things that we associate with Jodie's Doctor. Do you know what it occurred to me? They're all laid out mm. in that. You know, her attitude, her yep. sort of, you know, her morals, her her stance, her everything, her childlike. You know, curiosity and, mm. and wanting to 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 kind of experience things almost for the first time. Yeah. But with the wisdom that the Doctor brings to everything, you know, it's just it's a fantastic episode. Yeah. Honestly, I I wouldn't say I'd forgotten how good it was, mm. but it was it was great to be back into it. So I ended up doing a bit of a marathon sesh last night. Did you? Yeah, fell asleep. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I just thought I can watch all I can watch the entire run of Jody before six o'clock in the morning. I couldn't. <laughs> You didn't. Barely made it through four episodes, but still, <laughs> it wasn't bad. So go on now, what's your next one, Jeff? Okay, um, I'm going to bring out the the quote uh, from Spyfall uh, Part 2, where um, they're in Paris in the war, and they're watching you know, the Eiffel oh, Tower in the yeah. distance. Mm. And she says, these are the dark times, but they don't sustain. Darkness never sustains, even though sometimes it feels like it might. And that, for me, kind of you know encapsulates that, that hopeful, uh, y- you know, uh, personality trait of the mm-hmm. doctor and, and the optimism and you know it life can be difficult sometimes and, and bad things happen and you know you, i think it's important to have hope that you know you you'll come out the other side of that tunnel and things and um you know that quote ended up kind of i've said this before on the podcast but ended up coming back out um you know when when covid happened and locked down and, and it you know because we just had season 12 Mm. You know, shortly before all of that, didn't we? And there, uh, and then you know, uh, uh, the official account posted a lovely image of Jody with that quote, and it just sort of became quite, you know, relevant to, to yeah. those times. And it's and kind of uh, synonymous, wasn't it? Y- yeah, it was. And then also, Jody obviously did that brilliant um, video message from in, inside her cupboard. Um, you know yeah. during lockdown as well which for for some people is you know their favorite moment from mm. from her and that was also just you know hope and and optimism and just kind of staying strong so uh, you know i've always felt the doctor is a, a hopeful positive character but those traits uh, you know in the do- in 13 were really pushed uh, yeah, they really you know, to the forefront the floor, don't they yeah yeah i imagine mm. like uh you know, a bank of sliders and all the personality traits, and they, and yeah, it, sort of flick through. Yeah, Chibnall just pushed, <laughs> you know, so far up. On, it was so on nice, that, you know, because yeah. we'd had angry Doctor, and yeah. you know, with, with with Peter, and you know, that whole journey that the twelfth kind of went on, which was which is fantastic. Mm. And and throughout, we've we've had a lot of grumpy kind of Doctors, and, and yeah. Jodie's Doctor could be grumpy, and when she was, she's mm. brilliant. But for the most part, yeah, very optimistic, very yeah. hopeful, very, like I said, almost childlike in yeah. you know, trying to experience the universe. So that, that's a good one. I like that one. I'm going to go for so my second one again, because this is in no particular order, but yeah. I thought this one was a good one. So I, again, I was watching it last night, and it kind of typifies some brilliant 13th Doctor quirks, if you like. I think that's a good way to do it. And it's, it's quite often just the facial expressions that she pulls, yeah. which is just brilliant because so there's a scene in um in rosa park um rosa parks rosa second uh, third episode right and um and it's where the 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 police copper comes into the motel room um yaz and ryan have been forced to kind of hide out the bins and uh, and he comes in the, the police policeman comes in there's there's graham and the doctor there and graham is spinning a story about being in town to pitch an invention it's a f- telephone uh, it takes pictures. It will send send letters, and the doctor's just looking at him, letting him spin this tale without any kind of assistance from her. But she's just soaking up his words. And then when she when he's finished, and 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 <laughs> the copper goes, "What's your name, Sam?" And he goes, "Steve Jobs." <laughs> and the doctor turns to the cat, turns to the, the the copper, and just goes, "Yeah." <laughs> like that so yeah yeah brilliant like I say it's just that nod of approval now and you know we've got the whole Banksy thing which is great as well which she does a similar sort yeah. of expressions and then we've got like the scrunch that she pulls as well yeah. and just you know the, the reaction shots and, and, and all of that just makes her character so much more so much richer yeah. and for me so much more credible and, and, and doctor like you yeah. know she's, she's she's got it it's right there so there's that moment there in, in that uh scene where graham kind of 
that he tries to make out that they're married, didn't he? And he puts his arm around her and, and she, <laughs> she has this sort of, what? You know, reaction yeah. to it. So that, mm. you know, yeah, you're exactly right. All these little tiny moments. And, and one of my next ones actually kind of fits in with, with that. You know, they bring so much, um, you know, of, of Jodie herself into it. Uh, mm. You know, but but personify her doctor, and you know, just there's you know, people often comment about the hands and her movements like that. What, what did Chris call it? Cinematic clowning. You know, that was it. There's yeah. so much going on with a her. lot of that. Yeah, and and mm. every time you rewatch, you know, you can see something, you know, little little gesture or facial expression or something that you you hadn't seen before. Um, so why don't we play uh, a clip from uh, one of our listeners? Let's do with, that. With some of their moments. So this is from uh, Katie Haynes, who uh, is a well-known 13th Doctor cosplayer. Uh, in fact, I've never seen Katie in, in uh, any other clothes no. other than that. <laughs> actually, um, I think she, of Katie, and actually I just see that image, that silhouette. Yeah, that's it, I just so. see that. <laughs> um, and Katie has voiced uh, 13 in a number of uh, fan audios, including mm. uh, a couple some for us uh, and some more to come, which is great. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, hear, hear from Katie and some of her okay. um, top Here moments. Are you ready for this? I am. So let's get this underway because I've got a lot. Um, and I think my list <laughs> oh, is yes, yeah. some people's lists. Number one that comes to mind is, you're right. Of course you're right. I'm sorry. From Saranga. Um, that was such a mm. moment of vulnerability for the doctor. And the doctor almost never admits that they are wrong. And yeah. that realization that crosses the doctor's mind of, I am putting other people before me. I, I'm putting myself before other people. That really hit me hard. Number two, you are the maddest, most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. And I haven't even scratched the surface. I wish I could stay. Because she did. She wanted to mm. stay. And it was beautiful. It's it one of your favorites. Oh, it yeah. hurts so much. Um, number three. That's it. Takes you away. Oh, uh, it's not okay from time after. Raw, powerful. We rarely saw Jody's doctor get angry, but oh, that was amazing. And I wish we could have seen more of that. But that was, that was like, oh my God, that blew me away. Um, hmm. I'm going to need a pointy stick. Actually, really all of uh, <laughs> Sontar. That's one of mine uh, as the, well. The War of the Sontarans. She took charge. Oh, that was so epic. Uh, oh no, I'm about to do another. <laughs> oh, that's a cut off. <laughs> yes, we've got a couple more from Katie. We so do we'll, have more, we'll come so that, that may well continue. Her, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, so I'm <laughs> thank gonna. You, Katie. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna add in um, a moment from Eve of the Daleks, which is Ooh. a great episode. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Considering now, uh, mm. you know, the difficult circumstances that. Uh, that came about um you know time constraints budget constraints and stuff um but there's so many brilliant moments in there uh you mm. know D dan taunting a dalek um you know yaz kind of admitting her, her feelings and stuff but um the moment i particularly like is when the doctor runs in and the daleks are there and she says something like what time do you call this? Or and she she gestures to look at her watch, and she goes, "See, I'm not even wearing a watch." And it's such a silly moment. And mm. every time I see it, it makes me laugh because it, it's just you know perfect for for her doctor. So yeah, it's it's not a it's not really a character moment or anything big. It's just a silly little joke. Oh, I think but, it is a character uh, moment. Uh, it? Well, yes, I suppose it, I mean, it doesn't move anything along, mm. but um, you know, it 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 is her. You know, yeah. to, to do something like that. And uh, yeah, I love that moment. It's brilliant. So it's next very... time you, Go on. Oh, next time you watch Eve of the Daleks, watch out for it. It's so good. <laughs> it's very um, Tom Baker like almost. Yeah, like, imagine Tom Baker doing that. You know, yeah, it, 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 you know, since we were watching Image of the Fendal just the other day, mm. I thought, you know, there's, there's a lot of similarities between the Fourth Doctor and the Thirteenth Doctor. Mm. You know, which are which are really really quite brilliant. Um, and actually, that kind of makes sense, I suppose, given that when we interviewed Chris Chibnall, we said Tom Baker was his doctor, really, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, so yeah. That, that season 13, I think, was, was probably one of his favourites, he said. So mm. that's quite interesting. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Facebook for my number three, actually, because um, our good friend Eleanor Jody Alashevsky has yep. uh has she's actually uh, one of our explorers she is one of our explorers yeah so um, always you. good to always good to see to see feedback from there so um but yeah eleanor has um 
encapsulated in far better words than I could one of my best moments. Um, and I tell you when it is, it's when it's in Villa Diodati, the haunting of Villa Diodati, and, um, and Eleanor basically kind of quotes the whole of the speech um, that the doctor delivers. Um, you know, where she uh, says, it's not just his life at stake, it's yours. You want to sacrifice, yeah. sacrifice yourself for this? You want me to sacrifice you? You want to call it? Do it now, all of you. Silence. Yeah, because sometimes this team structure isn't flat. It's mountainous. With me at the summit in the stratosphere, alone left to choose. Save the poet, save the universe. Watch people burn now or tomorrow. Sometimes even I can't win. Mm. Brilliant. Brilliant. And, yeah. and that whole episode, you know, shows a whole... You know, it's it's Doctor Who getting quite dark, as, mm. as you know, it does from time to time. Yeah, and it starts out sort of spooky fun, and then uh, sort of on rapidly a, on a knife edge. turns, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and once, once we get that psycho cyber killer, yeah, you know, Ashad, sort of yeah. show when he comes in, the Doctor and him, the the whole atmosphere just becomes yeah. electrified, and yeah. those moments really push the Doctor to to the limit, mm. you know, because before that we'd had this great stuff, which was you know with the Doctor wearing a hat, I love a hat, yeah, and she like, wears like his hat for a plume. few things, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is great, and then she's called Mrs. Doctor by a few others, which is, <laughs> which is also great. And I love those little moments as well, yeah. but you know, suddenly it all gets really serious with 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 that um, that kind of face off mm. right there. You know, and uh, she's she's trying to explain to Ryan just exactly the responsibility that that she has mm. that she has to work with every day when yeah. she's sorting out fair play across the universe. Yeah, and and the other doctors, you know, talk about that as well, don't they? But mm. um, you know, she, it's not something she brings up that often. But when she does hear, it's it's really powerfully done. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a great moment. Yeah. Um, well, would you like to play uh, the audio from Aidan Gooch, who's uh, one of our long-time friends? We've known Aidan for a very long, long time. time. Yes, uh, big yeah, convention goer. He's met many always. a doctor. He has indeed. Yeah, lots of Hi, photographs. Hi, I'm Aidan. Here Here's Aiden. Are my top five thirteenth Doctor moments. At number five, we have confronting the reconnaissance Dalek in resolution. One of my favourite yeah, Doctor Dalek scenes for any of Doctor Who. <laughs> Loved it when the Dalek recognised her via the two hearts and took a step back. Fantastic stuff. At number four, I have tricking the Daleks in Revolution of the Daleks. So the Daleks going into the TARDIS Ooh. and the obedient little pets line. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> number three, I have meeting her past selves in The Power of the Doctor. A very emotional scene. One that did make me cry, but I loved it nonetheless. I loved Aww. seeing her interact with her former selves. Especially, the, I like the concept of the Guardians of the Edge. Just absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. At number two, I have I Know Exactly Who I Am. I Am The Doctor from The mm -hmm. Woman Who Fell to Earth. Instantly, you just... Yep. You knew she was a Doctor then. It was yep. brilliant. Uh, honorable mention, I have her making her sonic screwdriver from The Woman Who Fell to Earth. At number one, I have this team structure isn't flat from the haunting of Villa Diodati. <laughs> it topped off what was already a fantastic episode, and I just love it. So those are my top five 13th Doctor moments. I hope you enjoy and continue listening to Who Corner to Corner. <laughs> hey, Thanks, thank you, great, Aiden. Brilliant. Plug at the end. <laughs> yeah, Brilliant. we like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, great moments. Yeah, Resolution is, is one of my all-time favorite who oh, moments and uh, mm. episode sorry and that bit yeah where the dalek realizes who she is and and he just just moves back a little mm. bit even there that little you know the reaction. fear you know yeah yeah which fantastic is, which is quite good also actually just talking about so you reminded me when you're talking about um um eve of the daleks i was going to say mm. evil of the daleks but it's eve that's of the else. daleks yeah it's a different <laughs> thing entirely there's that moment that speech she she, she does towards the end of it when she's uh, oh she about, talks about trying how people again can you know how people can change things when they work together mm. which again is a nice thread that runs throughout a lot yeah. of the 13th doctor's era you know sort of bringing people together empowering people mm. to change things you know there's there's some great lines in uh, in in rosa where actually it's crasco who says tiny tiny actions change the world yeah and this is throughout you know all of this th this idea is is built throughout the whole of uh, the 13th doctor's run and it, it it kind of it's kind of encapsulated in that speech, which I can't remember because I only just remembered it now. But you know, in, in Eve of the Daleks, which is which Let's is just fabulous. It. It's one of those moments. Jeff is immediately, very rapidly 
scanning the internet right now for those exact same words. Okay, here we go. So because something seems impossible, we, we try, it doesn't work. We try again, we learn, we improve. We fail again, but better. We make friends, we learn to trust, we help each other. We get it wrong again, we improve together, then ultimately succeed, because this is what being alive is. Yeah, that's a fantastic... Uh, mm. It's like... Um, I, I, I'd call it a mini doctor speech in that um, it's not big and sort of grandstanding. It's not grandiose, is it? Yeah, it's not like um, you know the Zygon in, in version, you mm. know, epic from uh, you know Capaldi. But this is uh, such a again powerful and, and hopeful human uh, you know message in the speech, and it and it applies to all of us. You know, I was mm -hmm. doing. You know, my workshop at the local college recently, and I, you know, I said to the students, you know, you'll go out and you'll make a film, and there'll be terrible things that you do in it, or, you know, mistakes, and then you'll you'll learn and you'll get them better on the next film, and and that's that's what I did. And that's you know, life's like that, isn't it? You it know, is. and, and the yeah. doctor just gives that beautiful mm. little speech there, so it's fantastic. And it's, it's, it's sometimes about you know recognizing your failures and not giving up, mm. isn't it? Mm. You know, because that's one of the hardest things. It's one of the things that stops people really achieving is you, you fail once, you give it up. You know, mm -hmm. the idea is to kind of fail and fail again and fail again, you know, but learn from each mistake yeah. and make it better until you get that thing that you want, that thing that you work for. You have mm -hmm. to put the effort into it. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about it. You know, you've yeah. got to work, but not be put off, you know, by the fear of failure because fear, as we learn from Dune, is the mind killer. Is anyway, it yes, seen that, yeah. <laughs> fear is the mind killer. It's one of those mantras I've always had, uh, you know, literally on, inscribed virtually in, on top of my head everywhere I go. Like, you know, we have these, if, if you had these sort of um, augmented reality things, stickers, you know, that would be mine. You know, fear is the mind killer. Yeah. Do not let fear, do not, don't get yeah. into it. I, I was just looking, there was a, own you. a quote from Walt Disney, I think, and, uh, you know how they they would fail on things and then improve mm. and, and move forward and you know and and what's the, is there something like you know we're we're failing upwards or something is yeah there? yeah Quite, that, you know, that is a, a common phrase yeah and each, fail, each time fail upwards. you know you 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 learn mm. you, you improve and you move move forward um right shall we have another uh, clip from katie with some more of her moments and then let's I'll, do uh, katie too back. presumably this will pick up from where the last one left yeah. off so, <laughs> yeah. but we don't know we haven't actually listened to these we've got yeah, no we idea what's keep coming them by as the a way. surprise <laughs> let's see it okay here we go again going as fast as i can uh, yes the start of the flux her interactions oh, with goodness. yaz and the fact that there was a bed in the tardis the two of them together that was so cute um, and really Good kind point. of the evolution mm -hmm. of Phasman, power of the Doctor. What a finale for a Doctor. That is like number yep. one of the best finales for a Doctor ever. And I loved every single second of it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, Rosa. Um, I have issues with the historical accuracy of Rosa, but I think it's such a powerful episode. Um, mm. Oh, oh, what else? What else? Uh, Witch Finders. Her excitement at witch oh, finders yes. um i love apple bubble oh and yeah. and i wish we had gotten like a two-part episode where she was uh where her companion was nikola tesla the two of them together they had such phenomenal chemistry i loved mm. it and i know um oh her 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 making her sonic screwdriver in the woman who fell to earth that was so exciting and powerful and i loved every <laughs> minute of it um Oh, I know there's more. Oh, all of Orphan 55. I don't care. I love yes. Orphan 55. <laughs> I freaking love that episode. It's beautiful, and it's a train wreck, and it's yep. awesome, and I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I'm going to need to do another <laughs> one of these. <laughs> and we do have another one from Katie. Yeah, we do. We'll <laughs> come shortly. Yeah, Once yeah, we calm down um, from that one. <laughs> I'm going to also uh, mention Orf uh, Tesla. Uh, mm. You know, she loves his big brain, and they're and they're brilliant together. And um, he does return in a, one of the Titan comics. They they get together again there, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and Orphan Fifty Five is an episode that we we did a commentary on it, didn't we? Uh, we, did. we love it. I think it's uh, you know genuinely uh, love it. Mm. Un unfairly maligned I think if, if people yeah, but not by everybody not by everyone that's true there's a lot of a people few. who love it um, mm. and you know if you take Aliens and Doctor Who and blend it together you get Orphan 55 and throw a budget. Bit of the Truman Show what's not to love and um, someone uh, will we'll come to it but someone 
picked this as one of their favourite moments on Twitter, uh, and it's uh, if if I had half a can of spam and some crayons, I could make you in half yes. an hour. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> I'd love, oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my um, this is my uh, fourth moment. Mm. I'm going to go with. Um, uh, the Doctor and Yaz having ice cream uh, on top of the TARDIS from the power of the Doctor. Oh, um, it's a lovely a moment, beautifully uh, shot as well, looking over Earth there. Mm. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a tearjerker because, you know, they, you know, they love each other, but they can't, uh, you know, they, they can't be together. Time's running out. Um, and, but also the, the things that they say there, I think, represent both you know, Jodie, Chris and the whole cast's time mm. in the show and as these characters and the, the characters' feelings and that of the audience as well. Yeah. That, you know, we, we got to do this and, you know, no one else did and, and mm. uh, you know, they've loved every moment of it. So, yeah, it was quite sort of, you know, a meta in a way and it, it's, uh, you know, had multiple meanings there. So, yeah, that's a fantastic moment. Yeah, love it. That's brilliant. Yeah, I'm going to go for my number four. Um, I'm actually kind of torn here, actually, but I they're kind of the same but different. I've got two moments which I can't quite decide on, so I'll tell you both of these as okay. a bit of a cheat. Yeah, I think we so. could have an honourable mention. Aiden we can have an honourable so, mention. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not sure which one should be which, really. I, I, okay. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with the moment when the Doctor sees the Solly Tract as a frog mm. in It Takes You Away, which, yeah. as you know... And as people yeah. who listen to this podcast will know, it's one of my absolute all-time favourite Doctor Who stories ever. I think it's just astonishingly good. Mm. And when she meets the frog, not only is that for the audience a real what the f moment, it's yeah. proper what. I didn't see this one coming, <laughs> no. but it it works right yeah, because yeah. it's all about transformation. And as somebody yeah. pointed out to us, the frog is a good is a symbol of transformation. When you think the fairy tales, like which you know, and this is a very this is a story that pulls on myth and fairy yes. tale and legend and you know folklore and stuff like that so it's absolutely right that we should have a fog at uh, the fog a frog <laughs> symbolizing that kind of transformative moment of, of mm. you know the of, of the solid track to universe and the relationship between the doctor and it and 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 the way the way the 13th doctor reacts to that is is so wonderfully doctorish it's fabulous she just accepts it yeah you know some of us might go what the bloody hell's that I didn't know I was talking to a frog all this time, right? But why not? It loves it likes being a frog and she's happy with it. She's yeah. quite happy to spend her life with it. And that mm. you know, that conversation that she has with it is is beautiful. And and when she has to exit and, you know, turn away from it and turn her back on a solid tract, you know, there's there there's just some nice moments, some beautiful words. It's it's wonderful scripting. Yeah. And it's wonderful acting. And actually, you know, th there's another bit and it takes you away as well, where we see the doctor um, you know, pairing, explaining the whole solid track thing to Yaz. I think it's like a, a full on three minutes, probably like, it must be like a five page um, single, you know, soliloquy almost for, yeah. for, for Jody to learn. And she just rattles it off and it's brilliant. You know, I, I, again, I can't, I can't quote it, Sonny. I don't know in front of me, but, you know, I, I couldn't even do it justice if I tried because Jody just absolutely nails it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's fantastic. I, I love it. So, so that, that, probably is actually my number four but the honorable me honorable mention goes to um when she confronts orsok or tectaeon in mm. um is it the vanquishers the penultimate yeah. episode of uh, flux anyway isn't it yes uh i yeah. can't remember now what the episode's yeah, what the story the vanquishers is the final one i should blow it now shouldn't i uh, yeah uh, it doesn't tell me on that i can't remember now Actually, yeah, it's do, do some research. Which one is it? You know, when she's um, is the penultimate of the one, isn't it? Yeah, survivors, survivors of the flux. Of the flux. Yeah, that and then the vanquish is yeah. the last one, which the is, is the last one. There kicks you go. Off, so, yeah. so yeah, that, that, that's a great moment, you know, because th this is where she understands uh, who kind of who she is. You know, mm. the, she's learned now that that she's an orphan, that she was abandoned, and now she meets her kind of you know mother figure, um, sort of, but not really. Actually, this is her abductor. Mm -hmm. And that conversation again is just electrifying. I, yeah. I could watch it. You know, there, there are so many, 
there are so many layers to that conversation that you know obviously it's 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 big sci-fi and everything else but you know it kind of speaks to and, and what i've learned from from um interacting and speaking with other people on social media is that you know that 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 moment means so much to people who who've been adopted as we yeah. know you know it's, it's kind of reflection of um you know an exploration of, of chris chibnall's own sort of experiences yeah. you know put into into doctor who you know but it, it it comes across as so honest and so genuine that you know here's someone who sees you know the doctor's looking at this really from a from a sort of negative perspective you know she was she was taken away from mm -hmm something she didn't know you know she didn't know that she was abandoned she could have just been left there for five minutes and somebody decided to take her away you know this this possibility this 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 huge unknown this life she never had because somebody took her away from where she was is um is, is really chilling you yeah. know and 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 that whole conversation is just brilliant and it's so 13th doctor to kind of hold her ground and stand up for herself and what she believes and to face off the bad guy really you know yeah. with such strength it's um it's it's a wonderful moment i i could watch that again and again so there you go that's my, that's an honorable mention yeah number um, four. james who's the adopted hoover and he's one of our uh, explorers as well uh, uh you know that's um one of his favourite mm. moments, I think. I remember, he's, yes, he's talked about that that scene a lot um, online. It, it really means a huge amount to him. Mm. Um, I'm going to give my honourable mention, mm -hmm. um, and then we, if we can, then play Katie's uh, clip, and then I will do my final uh, moment. So I'm going to go with uh, blowing up the Matrix uh, from the Timeless Children as an honourable mention um, because <laughs> it's just really cool. <laughs> uh, and you see uh, all these you know different moments and memories of, of the past lives and it's a little bit like... Um, uh, you know, when the 11th Doctor's talking to the Atraxi mm. and, you know, plays the video there and then yes, he walks through yeah. it at the end. And, and I think it's there's a bit moment, with, isn't it? yeah, and, uh, you know, acknowledging what's been before. But, you know, uh, you, you know, well, like the 13th says, we change and adapt and, and mm. move forward. And it's a bit like um, uh, 10 in the next Doctor when uh, there's that memory player thing and, he, you know, it plays all the, the different clips of the past Doctor. So 13 doing this in the Matrix and then, you know, she puts her fingers to her head and, and mm -hmm. overloads it, and it, it plays the theme. You know, similar <laughs> to what you mentioned in uh, yeah. in the woman who fell to earth. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's such a cool it's moment, brilliant. and yeah, and I you know, I mate. think kind of, um, you know, there's quite a bit throughout her story. Uh, you know, with the adopted uh, part of it, which is still you know being played out with with Shooty Stock as well. But mm. um, you know, the, all, all of that. And, and what might have been, and with the fugitive mm. doctor and, and and the life that isn't known, uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't shape who she is now. No, and and I think that's it. why yeah. at the end, um, mm. you know, she puts the fob watch in the TARDIS because even though it's got memories and some answers, in some ways, it's not what who are they? She is now. Yeah, it's not who she is, mm. and what does it matter? You know, I think she's made peace with it, and you know, it's there f if if Evan is needed by the doctor or writers want to pick it up. But mm. you know, it's uh, it, it you know, it's closed off because she, she knows who she is, you know. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's brilliant. Which, which again, just just you know, it, it starts providing a nice bookend mm. to the Thirteenth yeah. Doctor's run. You know, having gone through that journey of, you know, severe disruption at the mm. core of her being. You know, to go through that and come out the under, the, the other side of it and realise that you know she 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 is who she is now, and like you said, that's all that matters. It's yeah. brilliant, love that. And and I think some people w wanted, you know, solid answers on on that. You know, yeah, which is more fine. about which yeah. is fine. But I think it it does, you know, it does give answers mm. in the you know it it. Uh, but it doesn't present them to you. You have to yeah. kind of dig for it. If you, and yeah. you, you're right. And for me personally, I I much prefer to do that work mm. than just have it given to me on a plate. I'm I'm yeah. really not that interested in in everything just shoved straight at the screen at me. I, yeah. I don't mind it sometimes. It's done brilliant. I mean, Russell T Davis does it a lot mm. and generally does it brilliantly, so I can kind of go with it. But more often than not, for me personally, I I just find it unsatisfying. Because when I watch the show again and again and again, I like to find those layers that I didn't see perhaps or yeah. didn't quite recognise on on the first or yeah. second viewing. And for me, when you when you structure something in that way with you know with those layers, it gives the show a massive rewatch value. Yeah. You know, so you experience something new about it mm -hmm. every time. 
and and it's it's real, um, you know, kind of getting into the this doctor's character and understanding, yeah. you know, what what she's discovered and what she's been through mm. and how it affects who who she is. And you know, I think again we'll see it with with Shooty's doctor as well. You know, it, it may be only a small part of things, but you know, we already mentioned it in the church on Ruby Road. Uh, you know, so it's, yeah. it's really interesting, I think. Mm. Um, right, could we hear from Katie again? Let's I love do that the she sent final three. Katie. She had I so much that. to say. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I mean, there's more than five moments here already. Yeah, but, but you I'll, know, uh, you know, I'll let that She's such a go. joy yeah. to listen to. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's play Katie's third and final audio input. So here goes. Her reaction in uh, The Timeless Children. I like the timeless child. I like the timeless children. I think it's heartbreaking. I think it gives <laughs> even more weight to the doctor. Yep. Um, Praxius. Yep. Anytime she gets to be oh, a scientist, yes. oh, like yeah. mm. I see her as the crazy, you know, like if, if I was a second grade teacher, she would be the kid who's always inventing things, who's always causing chaos and like making the classroom and always raises her disruptor. hand and always has to talk and always interrupts. Um, with important things to say, but then she notices a kid being picked on and she gives them, uh, she stands up for them and gives them her last biscuit and then immediately goes to do something else because she's just a, 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 a massive ball of wonderful energy. She's, oh, uh, oh, what else, what else, what else? Um, <laughs> Three seconds left. Come Ooh, on, Katie, you can so do much. this. Oh. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's it. There is so well, much. She's absolutely much. right. But we'll wow. Thank you, Katie. Form. Yeah, thank that you. That was fantastic. We love that. And thank you for but, those little moments of performance as well. They're always yes. good. Yeah, um, we'll uh, we'll get some more from from Katie another time. Um, I'm going to read out a couple of um, mm, Twitter comments X's, from Twitter. Or they... Yeah, uh, X. 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 Post. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that before do that. Uh, I give my uh, final moment. So, um, Mr. Tardis, who's at Trilby Reviews, uh, almost every one-on-one -on -one confrontation with a villain, she mm. absolutely shone. Crasco, the Dalek in Resolution, Ashad, etc., etc. Uh, so, yeah, very true. Agree with all of that. Um, Emicran, who's at Crofty Boy, creating a screwdriver out of scraps. Uh, also, the music on that scene was amazing. I wish her tinkerer side was developed and explored a lot more. Um, and I liked the way she used the Sonic, taking it out of her pocket and scanning top to bottom. Uh, and then we had a little uh, conversation about the, you know, the, the silhouette, you know, the, yeah. that shape creates with, with the coat and the, the way that flares mm -hmm. out and her arm out and things. Um, so it was Sebastian Tug, who's at Sebastian underscore Tug, who uh, chose um, the crowns and half a can of spam line. Oh, uh, it yes. remained her sassiest <coughs> line. I love mm. it so much. Um, I wish she had more sassy as hell moments like this. Um, so we had a great response to this as well, didn't we? We um, really did, actually, yeah. It's, Rob uh, Benfield, who's... socials have been um, burning on this one. Yeah, it's, it's been great. Uh, R. Benfield, 95. Her intro on the train, like you said, Paul. Mm. Um, the resolution Dalek confrontation, uh, like Aidan su suggested. Her during the O reveal, which is amazing. Yes. Um, the Villa, da Villa, Dilla Villa Dilla Dilla Darty Darty as a whole, the yeah. team structure bit. Um, mm. And he, he said uh, she nailed the bittersweetness of the regeneration. Um, Tony Filer, any time with 13 uh, got her goggles on, she was mint, making yep. her sonic, repairing the TARDIS. The steampunk Doctor vibe really suited her. Uh, would have been fun to have more moments with that engineering, tinkering energy mm. coming to the fore. Uh, Eamon Longman, who's at Eamon underscore gated underscore man. Uh, the scene in Resolution where she's on the call to the Dalek, that whole sequence is so Doctor, and it's the moment I really bought her as the character. Her quirks are there, but they're subdued to just being her taunting the, the Dalek. Um, right, I'll do one, one more quickly. Uh, Thiago Luz, who's at Thiago with a four for the A underscore Luz. Uh, whose illustrations are uh, exceptional, Brilliant. by the way, and worth yeah. checking out. Mm. Um, he really wants to rewatch the 13th era now it's complete. So Same, picked, actually. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I started getting into it again last night. Yeah. I thought, oh, man, yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> so he picked uh, from uh, The Woman Who Fell to Earth, the I'm the Doctor speech, Ghost mm. Monument, Finding the TARDIS, from Rosa, the ending of Rosa, uh, Demons of Punjab, the, de the ending oh, of it. Man, yeah. Uh, season 11 episode 9 is that it takes you away all of the episode mm. um, 
the yes, Doctor and the Master yeah. in um, in Spyfall, uh, Fugitive of the Jadun, Ruth Breaking the Glass, um, Villa Diodati, Doctor and the Lone Cyberman, uh, mm. Thomas Children blowing up the Matrix, all of the beginning of Halloween Apocalypse. Yeah, that whole oh, yeah. Uh, acid planet chase yeah. sequence thing That's is a lot of fun. amazing, um, and. Uh, I'm not going to read that one because um, that's going to ruin something that I want to say. <laughs> so, um, uh, just uh, there's a couple here. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't going to do another one yet. Uh, Eternal Feline, who's who underscore EU sixteen building the Sonic first time in the TARDIS. Are you mm. Ed Sheeran? Um, oh yes, Houdini yeah, that's one bit. of Freya's favourite moments. She's it? quoting yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be the best of humanity, meeting the fugitive uh, matrix, having a blast, uh, I need more time, uh, and many, many more of them. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so would you like to read some from Facebook? Or something? Indeed, <laughs> you I just shall. keep going, yes. there's so many. I know, here, stop, stop now, Jeff, we're on a time limit for this <laughs> yeah, one. So, yeah, okay, so we do have a few more from uh, Eleanor Jody Alashevsky. So she's, uh, she's also put in here, actually, Crash Landing Epso Ship, quintessential Doctor mm. Shades. Absolutely, 100% agree. That was going to be one of mine as well, because I love it, that moment. So we, we've had the, the woman who felt the worth. This is now when we get the Doctor in full crisis mode, yeah. right? And she's, she owns it, you know? Epso's a strong character it's his ship he knows what's going on except he doesn't the thing's going to crash and everything else he ah it's 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 wonderful another big long dot and wonderful direction as well it's almost like a you know a one take kind of thing isn't it with the camera mm, kind of mm, just yes, spinning around that brilliantly set. done yeah brilliant love it love it philip cregan just posted a picture of uh, the solid tracked frog brilliant thanks phil that's fabulous it's um it's it's brilliant we've also got uh, i mean <laughs> again actually <laughs> Eleanor Jody Alashovsky, she goes, you guys do realise I could come up with a list of top ten moments from every 13 episode, yeah. and that's before I get to my <laughs> other faves. So I said to her, come on, eh? bring them on. But I know she's in Oz, so she's probably asleep right now. Probably so. asleep right now, yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, we, we did get a lot of um, a lot of good comments from this one, which is uh, yeah. which is really brilliant to see. And I, th- I think, you know, I, I think I'd be right in saying, whenever we put anything 13th Doctor out, our social just light up, you know, in, yeah, in the best way Yeah, it does really. Possible. Yeah, I, I think... Um, you know, we we love the uh, era, and um, you know we've had p- people tell us how nice it is to have something celebrating it. Uh, you know, it seems to be very sort of because why e- not? You know, well, it's, what, it's, it's Doctor it's, Who, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's Doctor Who. You know, why would you it not is want quintessential to Doctor it? Who. Yeah. Yes, it feels a little bit different from the Russell T mm. Davis stuff, but can we have years and years of that? Yeah, well, we're about I mean, to. So, <laughs> well, yeah. So, no, um, you know the, the and that's show great. Was... I love that as well. I love the Russell T mm. Davies stuff. I love the Steve. I love all of Doctor Who. But yeah. it's so nice to just have a little change in tone, just to see yep. the show exploring a few different things. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. But you know, for those people who have been nasty about it, don't be. There's no need. Yeah, there's, there's no, no need. Just focus on the other stuff that you like. Exactly. Um, you know. Yeah. For me, the the best the show has ever been. Uh, you know, I lo- loved it. Loved every second of it. Um, I'm going to bring my uh, last on, moment. Your number here. five or your number one, whichever uh, way we're doing this. I'll, I'll finish recording this and I'll think. Oh, actually, it's it going to be that. Could have been this. Could have been that. But um, it's it when. The edit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it should end up being four hours of me <laughs> talking. Um, it's when the Doctor uh, turns into a weeping angel at the end of I Village knew of this the was Angels. Be yours. Um, yes. What a moment! Um, it's I'd be disappointed if you didn't mention this one. <laughs> for me, the best cliffhanger in all of Who ever. Um, it's just it was a total shocker, uh, and I, I remember like almost leaping oh. off the sofa, going, "What the hell?" When I watched it. Mm. Um, you know what an image. You know the the doctor being you know corrupted like that and and turned into a, you know the enemy and mm. and and then you know how's she going to get out of it and you know of course she's going to get out of it you know but it's it's that you know the thrill of that moment the excitement of it and and the you know, you know you've got a week to think well you know what's going to happen what's going on talk about it with people um so yeah i love it i love the image of 13 as a as a weeping angel still asking our uh doer to make me uh a, a weeping angel 13th doctor figure mm. i'll uh, get there one day um but yeah that that for me is still yeah just amazing yeah uh, so good. what's your your fifth moment well, my fifth and final moment, or my first and first moment, if you like, is is going to be Jodie's final moment as the Doctor. That regeneration. Oh, my goodness. I mean, how beautiful was it? I mean, great mm. in so many ways that, 
you know, it's like, like you said, just following that moment on, on the TARDIS roof, you know, the whole kind of build up to that, that entire episode, mm. that entire story, as Katie said, Power of the Doctor, what, no, what a story. Yeah. Just brilliant. A real celebration mm. of Doctor Who and of Jodie's time as yep. a Doctor. Fantastic. And I'm, I was so pleased as well that um, the regeneration didn't happen inside the TARDIS. Yeah. You know, we'd, we'd had so much of this kind of explosive you know, catastrophic, earth-shattering, admittedly very cinematic and very mm -hmm. kind of jaw-dropping moments where the Doctor just explodes in this, this fountain of energy that seems to take out the TARDIS ready for a new rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we'd, we'd had it a lot. Yeah, yeah I think, it was nice to do something... Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, very I think befitting of her and exactly. um, beautifully that's exactly done. It. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would befitting. have picked that moment as mm. well, but, you know, that's then accepting that it ended... Uh, and I can't do that. I, uh, <laughs> no, uh, you can't. No, you people are. People tell are me still... there's been two other doctors since, but I've You've no, no idea, idea what they're they talking about. <laughs> or what, what even is going on there? Aren't yeah. we? So it's still Jody. Well, sure it is. Yes. No. Yeah. No. We, we're on fifteen now, mate. So um, you know, get, get with it. But you know, her her just walking out to 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 kind of face uh, an uncertain future yeah. in the sunset on was it Durdle? D Durdle Durdle door, door or something. Yeah. yeah, down in the down on the Dorset coast, which yeah. is and and it's just fabulous. You know, yeah. I, I I love it. It's just, yeah, I, so much could be said about that, and and the speech as well. You know, the way it kind of riffs on the daisiest daisy, yeah. kind of thing. You know, and she's right, Doctor, whoever you're going to be, you know, Tag. that's it. Yeah, you're yeah. next. It's just, yeah. <gasps> it's it was, fabulous. Yeah, love it. And, and you know, in some ways, I think that. Uh, mm. is quite representative of the whole era, really, because exactly. it's, it's not what yeah. you're expecting, and it does something mm. different and beautiful and hopeful and optimistic and joyful uh, and exciting. And, yeah, even there right to the end, she was being her, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Brilliant, yeah. So, Couldn't have put it better it. myself, yeah. Mr. Jeff. Well, thank you very much, everyone, who's contributed mm. comments for this. We we could go on and on, um, you know. Uh, We've done 46 we, minutes as well. Yeah, we have. We you said we that? were going to try and keep this short. Yeah, <laughs> I, I saw, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if, if you gave us a comment, thank you. Um, thank you. It's always appreciated. Definitely. And, um, you Absolutely. know, for people who listen to us regularly, thank you. If you're new mm. to us, thank you. We hope you'll stick around to our explorers. Thank you for subscribing. You're amazing. Um, so, we yeah, keep you. up to date with us. Do we're we going to have them? loads of we stuff. Do love we them, we do love them, yeah. We do love uh, them. We love everyone, um, you know. Uh, oh, I'm sure I love you, mate. Well, <laughs> yes. I'm not weird. I don't know if I do that, frankly. Not my type. But, We'll um we'll do another one of these top ten moments for for yes. another doctor and yeah, uh, we'll do all of them. Yeah, we point. will do all of them. Yeah, yeah. we will. So um, stay tuned. Stay yes. tuned, people. Oh, so, that's all, folks. <laughs> I shouldn't do that, should I? That's it's good. I like it. Not yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Well, on that note, I'm going to say TTFN, oh, and uh, we'll see <laughs> you next time. <laughs> Bye for now, listeners. Bye. Enjoy. Have a super day. We love you all. Bye.